Production support for this episode of Gadget was provided by the University Catholic Center, the Jesuits of the California Province, and Gateway, the beauty and power of one. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. That's the Society of Jesus. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. I want to start this episode by addressing a concern that several of our viewers have expressed over the last few days since we started including Gateway at the very beginning as a production sponsor. Let me clarify what a production sponsor is. They don't give us a bag of cash. We receive no juicy checks. They don't pay us off to give them good reviews. All a production sponsor means is that we, in reviewing their gear, decided that we wanted to have it on the set for a, an extended period of time. We in turn contacted Gateway and we asked them if we could use this monitor and perhaps some other of their production gear in the production of our show. They, being the nice guys that they are, said yes. And they didn't ask for anything. They didn't ask for credit. They didn't ask for us to mention their name. We just put it in there because we wanted to show our gratitude. Here's Gateway trying to help a small podcast, a, a non-profit agency, a, just a, a few nerds with a camera and a computer... And we wanted to show that, yeah, you know what, gateways changed. They're pretty cool this time. Uh, we will be showing a lot of gateway gear. I mean, that's for sure, because we've got a good relationship with them. But let me tell you right now that we are going to give you honest evaluations in, in line of what Gadget has been doing. In other words, we're going to show you the products that we like. Gateway has a couple of products that we don't like. They have a, a few things with their service that we disagree with. And we're going we're gonna to mention those, but we like to concentrate on the positive. On your part, I'd ask you this. If we ever do a review for Gateway or for anybody else that you think is too positive, that you think doesn't mention enough of the negatives, write us about it. We'll put it in the show. We'll address it in the show. We'll put it on the comments. We'll put it on the webpage. We want you to keep us honest. I mean, we're only human and we're only geeks, so we get really excited by this stuff. But we want to bring you the best possible re reviews that we can. This is the second to last episode in which we're going to have CES footage. But it's a doozy. We've got an interview with a company by the name of SingleClick that we met at Showstoppers. They've got software that will allow even the noob to be able to efficiently and securely share their data, share their network resources with people on the internet. But first, we're going to take a look at a product that we received from our friends over at Kensington. Now, I know you're probably saying, oh, another mouse. I mean, this has been, what, number three in a week and a half? But there's a reason for that. You see, Kensington released their Slim Blade line of products at CES, and, and they just won a ton of awards, everything from design to user experience. And this is an interesting mouse because it's uh, the only Bluetooth mouse in the Slim Blade line of products. Now, it's a little bit larger than the other ones. It's a little heavier, probably owing to the uh, uh, larger package and the AA batteries here that Kensington says will power this for six months. It's got a bit more heft to it, which I actually kind of like. I, I like that feedback when I'm using a mouse. I, I don't want it to feel as if it's just my hand moving. Now, the, the cool thing about this is not only is it Bluetooth, not only is it a really high precision laser mouse, but it is a dual function, and we'll get to that. Now, at the bottom here, you have your standard Bluetooth pairing button. You also have this little cover so that you can uh, protect the laser assembly if you're traveling. You don't want it to get dirty or encrusted with dust. Up top, you've got a two-button mouse, and you've got the 360-degree scroll ball that we've come to expect from Kensington products. They, uh, they say that this will automatically shut itself down when your computer goes to bed, which accounts for the six-month battery life, but you also have the ability to go ahead and shut it off using this. I know it looks just like another shiny piece of adornment, but it's actually a third button, which has several different functions. One is it allows you to turn it off. And when you turn it off, you can actually see it has a fuel meter. They call it a fuel meter. It's actually a battery indicator that will tell you whether or not your batteries are still good. Once it's on, this button also gives you the ability to switch modes. Now, what modes might you ask? Well, there's the laser precision mouse, but if you double click it, it'll turn off the optics 
and it will give you a trackball. Now, okay, why a trackball? I mean, a trackball was so 80s and 90s. Well, there are some times when a trackball comes in very, very handy. I'm thinking specifically of those places where you're in cramped quarters, say on a plane or on a train or in a car where, where you don't really have access, full access to your keyboard or your, your trackpad. This will allow you to switch it into trackball mode and then sort of hold it against your shoulder or have it down on your lap or have it off to the side, not have to move a whole lot and yet be able to control everything on the screen. I also found that there are certain jobs, there are certain fine-tuning, precision-oriented type tasks on my computer in which a trackball actually does come in quite handy. Now, if you're looking for something like this, if you want something on the road, if you want something for your desktop or your laptop that will connect via Bluetooth, you can get the uh, Slim Blade trackball for about $75 to $90. If you want to find out more about this, you can go to www.kensington.com and look for the Kensington Slim Blade trackball mouse. We're here at Showstoppers and I'm at the single click table. They've got a piece of software that uh, is, makes it a little bit easier to share the files and the applications that you may want. Now in the past, if you wanted to open up your computer to somebody else on the internet, a, a friend or a family member, you had to make sure that you opened up the proper ports on the router. You may have had to set up some special software, probably set some permissions. Well, Single Click tries to do away with all that by giving you a single interface that allows you to share those files or applications easily through a single email. Now I'm here with Scott from uh, Single Click and he's going to show us how this works. So what are we seeing here? Well the user would install our software application on one of the PCs in their network and create an account on that machine. Once the account is set up the software goes out and finds everything that's on the network and then builds that and sends it up to our service where a display is shown of all the devices that are in the person's network. From there, all they have to do to access them is to click on the device that they want and then to click on the particular service that it offers. For instance, this web camera right here that we're looking at is exposing a web interface. So if I, the typical user experience would be to log into the network, click on the web camera, and click on browse the web interface and the video becomes available instantly. No changes are required to any of the hardware in the network. No changes are required to any of the software firewalls. It all happens automatically. The product also has a full media server streaming interface in it. So again, if I go back and I look at this particular PC over here, which is running that software, I can now look at all the content that's shared on the network and I can do things like view slideshows of pictures. If I were to go into a folder that has pictures, I can view a slideshow of what's on that machine. And if I wanted to share that slideshow with somebody, I can come over here and basically just enter their email address in and they'll get an email from me in their inbox with a link that they click and they'll see the same slideshow. I could do that equally as well with music files uh, and video files. This all works on both PCs and mobile devices, and it currently supports about 10,000 different mobile devices. So, I mean, the nice thing about this is that's any, any of your media files you can share, any of your folders you can share, but I really like the fact that you can share the webcam, so you can share active applications on the client computer, right? But, uh, now. You say this happens with one email message. What, what, how, does that, how do you invite someone into your network? Well, all you're doing here is just basically entering their email address in. So you're saying, this is a trusted person. I'm sending them this information. They get the link, and the software is responsible for setting up a secure, protected connection between them and the content that's in your network. So totally secured and protected, and you are only letting people see the content that you want to see the content. It's not like putting it up on a web server and everybody sees what's happening and everybody's looking at your private pictures and whatever you have up there. So it's so safe, easy, powerful. Right. Okay. Now, are you on the CES show floor? We are not. You are? Okay. Well, you can always go to Single Click Systems and, and find out more about the software. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Scott. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Kensington products, or if you want to see what we did at CES, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. 
where you can find our reviews, find our blog entries, and find the high-resolution versions of all of our gadget episodes. If you want to write us to complain, to comment, to tell us that we're just plain dorks, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. I've been your host, Father Robert Ballisar of the Society of Jesus. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.